welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to look at how we can um, rationalize the denominators of our sets so if you have not yet uh, subscribed to my channel make sure that you do so and um, don't forget uh, to also click the notification button so that the videos that I'll be posting should be coming directly to you all right so let's uh, quickly do the simplifying of uh, I mean the rationalizing of these sides. So the first question is 1 So we have the first question which is 1 over the root of 2 Then plus 1 so this this when you've been told to rationalize this you you have to find something called the conjugate So you have to find the conjugate of the denominator and then how do you find the conjugate? So the conjugate is just found by changing the sign which is in between there. So if you have a plus there you put a minus. So you are going to write the same thing. We are going to have the square root of 2 plus 1. And then we are multiplying both the numerator and the denominator. Um, um, we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So we have the root of 2. And then instead of putting a plus here, we we'll put a minus. And then we say 1. So we have the root of 2 minus 1 like that. So when I multiply 1 times everything there, I am getting the root of 2. Then minus 1 then everything divided by so if I multiply this part and that part I'm going to have root 2 times root 2 which is going to give me the root of 2 and then squared and then I'm also going to have root 2 times negative 1 which is just going to be the negative of root 2 then I'm going to have 1 times root 2 this will be positive the root of 2 and then we have positive 1 and negative 1 as they multiply we're going to have negative 1 okay so we can simplify this further by saying uh, the square root, I mean the square root of 2 squared, first let me write the numerator, we have the root of 2 minus 1, then everything divided by, we have uh, root 2 squared, this will give us 2, and then we have this part and that part will give us a 0, then we have negative 1 there, so we have negative 1, so this will be equal to the root of 2 minus 1, and then everything divided by 2 minus 1, the answer is 1, meaning the final answer is just going to be the root of 2 minus 1. <laughs> Alright, so let us uh, quickly move on to the next one, which is this one. So this one is also straightforward. We also do the same. Find the conjugate of the um, denominator. So on top we have 3 and then divide by, we have 2 minus the root of 3. So I'm multiplying everything, the numerator and the denominator by, 2 minus the root of 3 so we have 2 minus the root of 3 then everything divided by 2 or rather we are multiplying uh, everything by the conjugate meaning the sign here will change so we're going to have 2 plus the root of 3 remember what I said the conjugate is just uh, the same uh, the same number that you have but you just change the sign which is in between there so when you multiply 3 times that you're going to have 3 times 2 you get 6 3 times root 3 you get plus 3 root 3 then we divide everything here you're going to have 2 times 2 there the answer will be 4 and then negative root 3 times uh, the root of 3 there will get negative root 3 uh, squared so on top there will still remain with 6 plus 3 root 3 then down we're going to have 4 and then the root of 3 squared this will be minus 3 then when you simplify the numerator you have 6 plus 3 root 3 then everything divided by 4 minus 3 this will give us a 1 so the final answer for this expression will therefore be equal to when you divide 1 into that you're just going to have 6 plus 3 root 3 as your answer all right so let us also do the last part of this question which is this one so i'm also going to show you the simplest way you can do this Instead of you multiplying everything like what I did here, you just simply, okay, let me just do it right here. So this part here, instead of you multiplying everything like this, if you know that what you are dealing with is a number and then you're multiplying it with its conjugate. So what you do with such uh, a situation is that you just square the numbers that you have. So if you have root 2 and 1, you're just going to square root 2 say root 2 squared then you say minus 1 squared so this is called the difference of two squares so this can also be written as the root of 2 
plus 1 then the root of 2 uh, minus 1 which is just the same as this part so instead of you multiplying this part like this part like, like what I did here you can just write it in this way and then you find the answer by just saying root 2 squared will give you 2 and then you say minus 1 squared which is 1 which is the same thing which I found here anyway I'll solve one question using the difference of 2 squared so that you know what I'm talking about So let me solve the next question. So the next question is this one. So for this one, the first thing that you need to do is to simplify uh, the expression first. Yeah, so for this one, you need first to simplify the expression. You express this as a single fraction. Okay, so let's quickly now begin to solve the last part. So this one, I'm going to start it from here. So we have 1 over root 2 plus 1. Then we say plus 1 over root 2 minus 1. So the first thing I'll do is to express this as a single fraction. Then how do I do that? I'm going to find the common denominator, which is just this and that. So I'm going to have root 2 plus 1 and root 2 minus 1 as the common denominator. So on top here, I'm going to have um, root 2, I mean, we say root 2 plus 1 into this, I'm going to have root 2 minus 1 times 1, I'm going to have root 2 minus 1, and then I'll write this plus, then I'm going, I'm also going to say root 2 minus 1 into this expression, I'm going to remain with this, so root 2 plus 1 times 1, I'm going to have root 2 plus 1, so I'll also put them in brackets so that I don't make a mistake. Okay, so uh, when you simplify the numerator there, root 2 plus root 2, we're going to get 2 root 2, then negative 1 plus, um, plus positive 1, this will give us a 0, so we say plus a 0, then we say divide by, so when you check the denominator there, this is the difference of two squares, and the way you deal with such an expression is you can... Uh, okay, let me now use the difference of two squares method instead of just multiplying this times everything and that times everything. Let me just use the difference of two squares method. So meaning I'll just go, I'm, I'm just going to square the root of two. I'm just going to square the root of two and then I'll say minus. We have this one here, which I'm also going to square. So on top there, root two, I mean two root two, plus 0, this will give us 2 root 2, and then everything divided by root 2 squared, the answer is 2. Then we say minus 1 squared is 1. So we are going to have something like, the root, I mean, 2 root 2 over 2 minus 1, the answer is 1. So when you divide this, the answer will just be 2 root 2. So this is how simple this question is. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Make sure that you don't forget to um to subscribe to the channel and uh if you still have questions about this you can still ask me in my whatsapp yeah you can still inbox me on whatsapp on on telegram all right my name is amted see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom